hey 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 to my babies my pisces my water gods and goddesses i hope that you guys have all been doing well i know i've been gone for a while but you know sometimes you have to take time out for yourself a lot of the times we as psychics healers we tend to help others quite a bit and sometimes we have to take the time out to kind of work on ourselves because we do all this work for others and then we really don't take the time out for ourselves to you know recharge our energy to you know do our own spiritual baths and cleansings and readings and and really just take a mental break sometimes so, but now I'm back and in effect, my website is back up for those of you who would like to order readings and workings and products and services. So, Cherub is Magical Creations is back up. And this is a reading for August 2019 from now until the end of the month. And we're going to kind of take a look at what's coming towards you. And I'm also going to do spiritual guidance and what your significant other secretly desires behind closed doors so let's go ahead and hop into things spirit please bring forth clarity clearness spiritual guidance and allow me to see what pisces has coming towards them what's coming towards pisces okay i'm gonna draw two cards for the past and the next four cards are going to represent what's coming towards you, Pisces. Okay, so I feel like these are your cards, Pisces. So give me a moment to clarify some of your cards before I hop into the reading, completely into the reading. Spirit, so please clarify. The Knight of Wands. The Moon card. The Four of Cups. The King of Swords. And the Justice card for my Pisces. It's very clear that there's going to be new beginnings that's coming towards you very soon. New beginnings are on the horizon. So that's the positive thing. I'm going to start with the positives of this reading. New beginnings are on the horizon. I can see that in the past, okay, in the recent past, that you have been either exploring your options or you have been seeking answers, okay? You've been trying to, or you were trying to um, adventure into new areas of life, okay? Either you've been going to school, you've been traveling, um, you and your significant other have been, you know, 
trying to explore new things, trying to bring more excitement into your relationship, okay? Some of you may have been, you know, starting new classes or or getting off into spiritual spirituality rather deep, okay? Doing a lot of reading, doing a lot of researching, doing a lot of um, exploring into the the arts or the dark arts, mysticism, okay, the occult. I am seeing a fire sign, so a lot of you guys are involved with fire signs. So we're looking at Leo, Aries, um, Leo's Air, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. My fire signs. Okay, I see that a lot of you guys are involved with fire signs. So it may be your significant other that has recently decided to explore, to start doing a lot of research and then studying. Maybe they just recently started college. Okay, but the other thing that I'm seeing here is that um, my intuition is telling me that, and spirit is telling me that, you have had some questions in regards to your relationship. There's been um, some secrets, so to speak, something that you've really been thinking about and, and trying to, something that you've been observing, something that you've been trying to figure out um, in your relationship. It's like you've, you've, taken some, you've taken some sort of steps into trying to gain an understanding, a better understanding of something, either your significant other, what your significant other is doing, um, or just the relationship as a whole. It, it feels like you've taken, so you've taken some sort of action towards understanding something, gaining a better understanding of either yourself, your relationship, your significant other, or maybe the two of you have decided to study something, okay, or to move towards something. You you may have recently moved or thought about moving or, or took action towards moving. It's like you took some baby steps towards something that you had some sort of interest, either together apart um, or individually okay but for a lot of you guys I just have this feeling that there is something that you've been looking into rather deeply and I feel like it has to do with maybe some sort of secret within the relationship something that you weren't aware of or you recently became aware of and you're trying to find um, you're trying to find out more about this this secret, okay, that you've come to learn. You've been trying to delve deeper into figuring something out about this person that you're dating, you're married to, you're with, okay. But there's something that's very secretive about this 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 person that you're dealing with okay so that was in the past i see you you really trying to almost what spirit is bringing to me is investigate something okay investigate a certain situation it could simply be that you're trying to learn more about this person that you're dating okay I do feel that in this relationship, there are secrets, there's hidden information, there's more to learn, there's more to explore. Um, it feels like you're either trying to gain this person's trust or this person is trying to gain your trust, Pisces, okay? Um, another thing that I'm sensing is that either you're thinking about giving someone 
your trust. You're thinking about telling this person how you feel, okay? Maybe you've been hiding your emotions for a long time, but maybe you're beginning to trust this person more and you're beginning to feel more comfortable in their presence. And you're thinking about letting them know just how much you care, or maybe you're, you're thinking about letting them know how it is that you truly feel about them. There's something that your significant other has been either hiding and keeping in, or you've been hiding something and keeping it in. And um, it, it's something that has to do with trust. Either you're thinking about trusting this person, or maybe you don't trust this person. There's a lot of mysticism in this relationship, okay? I'm seeing that in the later parts of this month, more so towards the end of August, beginning of September, that there's going to be some intense energies that's going to be coming your way, Pisces. We have the Four of Cups, okay? So it feels like to me that either you're not wanting to be bothered with the emotions that surround this situation, this relationship, you're needing time to yourself to process some emotions. But there are intense emotions that are that are coming towards you, that are that are within, that's either being held. It's like emotions that are being held within that need to be released. And I feel like it's all surrounded around, you know, this, this trust issue, so to speak. Okay. It's like almost like you need clarity about something before you can move on, before this relationship can progress and move on any further. You need to know more. It's like you're researching, you're investigating, you're you're trying to seek answers in regards to this fire sign or this 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 cancer or Pisces like yourself. I feel like this moon sign is here because not this is your energy, but this also represents something that you may be keeping in, okay? It feels like Pisces, like you're having some trust issues with someone, like you want to trust this person, but you need to know more about them. You need to learn more about them. You need to be able to um, know that this person is someone that you can trust before you let them in, okay? And it also feels like maybe this person may have done something to make you um, make you feel unsure about them, unsure about their actions, unsure about what it is that they say, what it is that they do, their whereabouts, and you've, t you've decided to take a step back. Because something has hit you kind of hard emotionally. And now you're like, you've went into, um, into cancer mode. Like almost like you, you went into, you went under in your shell, like a crab. It's like, Hmm. It's like you learned something. You decided to maybe look in somebody's phone or you looked in their computer or you um, may have come across some information. You decided to dig deeper and you learned that there was some, a secret or it's just clearly something, something is going to take place. I see you in the past. You've, you've done your research and now it's like what I'm seeing in the future is that there's this uncertainty. I don't, it's like, I don't know if I can trust this person. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take any offers from this person until I gain this clarity. And I feel like the clarity is going to come in. I feel like the clarity is going to come in. Some of you guys are involved with air signs. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. It's like until I gain this clarity, I'm slowing down. 
okay? There's something about fairness and justice and truth and morality. You know, it's like you're seeking it. You need it, okay? And see, we have the justice card. So we have the justice and the control card here, okay? I feel like there could be some insecurities that may be going on with you, Pisces. Um, it's like a need for balance within your relationship or a need to control a certain situation or a certain outcome. I do feel like with the justice and the control card here towards the end of August, that there's going to be some balance and some clarity that's going to be coming through. But I feel like for a moment here that you're going to be kind of stuck in a place where you're unsure, where there's a lack of certainty. So there's, there's uncertainty that's there. And because of this uncertainty, I think that you're going to take a couple steps back until that certainty and that clarity comes through. And I do feel like that clarity is going to come through. But until it does, you're kind of going to be like in a in hangman mode. Okay? So definitely a need for you and your significant other to kind of have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and really touch basis when it comes to, you know, trust, morality, um, where the two of you guys stand in your relationship. Um, you know, because there, there seems to be a lack of trust. Okay. Under the deck, though, I've seen the new beginnings and then the full card just popped out. So I feel like you're going to be taking that leap of faith to move this relationship forward. Um, I'm feeling that that's probably going to take place more so towards the be beginning of September. Spirit, what does Pisces significant other secretly desire behind closed doors? Okay. So it feels like your significant other desires to be, we have the emperor and the empress. So I feel like the both of you guys are very attractive people, leaders, very much so in your essence. It feels like the, um, that your significant other wants to lavish you in love. Um, they want to cater to you and they also want you to cater to them as well. It's like they want, um, again, the justice card a balance in um, a balance within the relationship and the energy between the two of you and also a balance in roles as well like I feel like your significant other wants to feel um, if you're a woman and your significant other if you're dating a man then that man wants to feel like the man in the relationship wants to be treated and respected as the man of the household if this is a new relationship then they want to feel like they are your protector, okay? And if you are a man, then your significant other wants to be lavish as a woman, should be lavish, catered to as a woman, should be catered to. It's like a balance in roles is what I'm sensing. And also when it comes to, um, since this is like, you know, behind closed doors, it's almost like your significant other just wants to cater to you, um, feed you grapes, sip on the wine, you know, be very seductive is what I'm is what I'm sensing, you know, lots of role play behind closed doors and, um, you know, kissing, massages, massage oil, you know, candles. That's the you know, they want to be placed on a pedestal. That's, that's the energy that I'm getting from this. And then we have the two of sex wands, which definitely um, shows the man, the masculine energy is taking control over the feminine energy here. Um, and she's on like the edge of, she's like on the edge of 
the deck. It's like, you know, risky sex kind of, you know. Um, I feel like your significant other is wanting to take steps towards new beginnings, okay, with the two of sex wands, the two of fire. It's like lighting the relationship up again, bringing that spark to the relationship, bringing that fire to the relationship, and bringing that seduction, you know, not just having your, you know, a quick, quick sex, you know, a little quickie or whatever, but actually taking the time to seduce each other, the role play, the flirtation, back and forth, you know, connecting with the eyes, you know, that sort of energy is what I'm getting from this here. That's what your significant other secretly desires behind closed doors, okay? Spirit, can you give my Pisces some spiritual advice in regards to this relationship, this connection, this situation ship? We have the forgiveness card, just like I stated before. It just feels like someone did something that like almost kind of like <clears throat> bring some sort of conflict to the relationship and um, it's almost like now the the trust is almost it's like a lack a lack of trust. And it says forgiveness, nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. So again, like I stated, something came into the light, something, um, I feel like you became aware of something or your significant other became aware of something, Pisces, and now there's like this lack of trust um, and a need for clarity. And I feel like um, there's going to be this, 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 um, this balance is going to be coming in very soon, but first there has to be forgiveness. For the two of you guys to actually overcome this lack of trust or for you guys to overcome anything that took place in the past all right so that is your reading pisces if you would like a private or personal reading click down in the description box below my website is there where you can purchase readings okay and if you have an iphone you can connect with me through instant go follow me on instant go download the app um, click on the link down below and you can contact me um, for a reading through that app if you would like. All right, you guys stay blessed, stay well, and I